There have been a lot of enhancements to SlickEdit's document overview bar. Most of them have been turned on by default. I'm going to run through a few with you, but the truth is, when you float over the marker and see the code, you'll know why it's there. Let's just see what's currently on my document overview bar by right-clicking to bring up the context menu. You can see I have everything turned on. The only change I made from the default is to show structs instead of all tags in show symbol outline. So let's see what some of these are. This is a highlight, a word that I chose to have highlighted on the, the highlight tool window. These two are structs. I remember I mentioned that I set the outlining to show structs. So these two are where structs are. And, and when I float over, you see a preview. If I click, I can jump right there. In fact, I can double click anywhere on the document overview toolbar to jump to the corresponding place in that file, even if there isn't a mark. This is some live diff output. You can see that that one line there was modified. This is more live diff where a line was inserted. And if I click, I can jump there, of course. What's this one? It's not real obvious, but it actually is labeled. This shows up because it's an enabled breakpoint. This green item here is a bookmark. This is also a word that I added to the highlighting. And then if we were to put the cursor right here at this brace, you notice we'll end up with two markers, and that is block matching. And I can click on either one of them to jump to the other. Some of the other types that can be shown on the document overview bar include the bookmark stack, search results, incremental search, mini find results, replaced text, references, build errors, spelling errors, and the debugger stack. Download your free trial today. Go to www.slickedit.com slash trial.